<clears throat> All right, this is a uh, Stradation of Mountains. Oh, this is a mountain based on sedimentary rock found in the desert, Utah. All the way down to uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico. All right, so watch this. I drew around my perspective here. Now I'm gonna cut this guy out, add some extra little lumps to it. I'm gonna go a little bit simple, just because it's faster. If you don't have an X-Acto knife, you use scissors. Add some extra little lumps there. And make sure your, your angles go to the vanishing point though. So this is like a two point perspective kind of job here. And then it comes all the way out here. Let's use the crudeness of the cutting. It's a time thing. We gotta get moving. All right. Now, so I got my little uh, deal here. That's gonna be where my little rocky thing with the plateau thing goes on it. Mm, got my horizon lined up, looks good. Now, I don't really need to erase that. I could if I wanted to, if I felt like it. I had more time, I'd probably erase some of it, but some of it's really dark. And then, you could use a uh, ass paper or you could use a paper towel. For this, for rocks, I'd recommend using a paper towel. I'm gonna wad this up right here. Bam, tear off a little bit of an edge. Chappelle. Now, dip it in the powder graphite. Then right here, so the little lines in it, kind of like when you're doing hair. Um, so that is gonna kind of create the illusion of like sedimentary rock. So here, in this direction, now instead of going straight, I'm gonna angle up a little bit, because of perspective. And so it's that little line that goes through that. That'll eventually look like the type of rocks that we're dealing with. Whoops. Okay, then over here. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go a little darker on the top. Hold on one second. Because you know what? Contrast is the key. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. Delicious amount of contrast in there. All right, so I got my little plateau thing. Dust it off. <clears throat> All right, so now I have that little base. Now the next step, like everything else, basic values, erase out the highlights, add the shadows. This one, I can see went down too far. It should be going almost to the vanishing point. Then here, I have like the edges of the rocks. So there's one edge here, there's a big edge here. I'll add some little highlights to it. All right, so then I'll take the eraser and I'll start adding like little chunks to it just by like hitting it random to get like a more of a rocky kind of a texture to it. Hitting that thing. Then I'll go down this direction a little bit. And smash it around. <clears throat> so I'm sorry, a little bit of a texture. And here I'll do the same thing. Okay. This is kind of a quick version, but that's okay. Don't try to go this fast because it'll look kind of messy. It's right I'm going this fast, and mine even looks a little messy. But the show must go on. We got things to do today. Okay, here I'll do the same thing. Highlights and shadows, little textures, what have you. Uh, Stevens, that looks like a mess. Okay, cool. I'm not done yet. Andy, don't complain about it yet. I'm not done. Just give me a second. Okay, but I'm just letting you know it doesn't look very good. Andy, I'm not done. It's gonna look great. Watch this. Now I'm gonna take some tissue. Right here, got some tissue right here. <clears throat> Powder graphite. Dip that in a little bit right here where the highlight is. I'm gonna come in there and I'll darken this up right next to the highlight. That'll make it look like it goes back in the distance a little bit. See so it went behind it all of a sudden. It's like, bam, then it goes right behind it. <clears throat> I'll do the same thing right here. Uh, get that rock. Tiny bit, tap it on there, blur it out a little bit, nice and soft. Bam, I got another level. And over here, same thing. Bam, another level. Now I got three little levels here. All right, that's the next step. Now the next step is to add some more shading, so we're not done shading yet. I'm gonna take a nice little blending stump, add some details and highlights to it. Right here, so I'm gonna add some little chunks, little details, 
It's like a little line. I can do a little chunk right here. This will be posted on the website. I think I'm recording it. If you want to see the recordings, you can also Google Myron Stevens Artist. If you don't see him in Google Classroom, and I have a bunch of them there as well. Um, and it's the one that has like a pink circle with an M on it. That's that's the one that I have all, all the videos on. <clears throat> There's other ones too, but yeah, go to that one. It's my own uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Now we have a lot of variety here, right? A little variety, chunks, smash that around, a little variety. Smash it in a little bit, blend it in just, you know, softly. All right, now the next step, uh, and I'm gonna come in here and I'll add some like really dark chunks. I'm gonna go like right here. Oh, look at that, it broke. All right, so I'm gonna go like a big chunk right here. So this is gonna be darker. Just add in the details. You don't need that many of these. So I'm gonna go like really dark right here. It looks like it goes in a little bit. Another one right here. A little chunk. Then I'll fade it out. Then I'll take an eraser. I'll like erase right below it. So it looks like it goes in a little bit more. Same thing here, a little line right here. So I have like a dark shadow if I put a little highlight right below it. It looks pretty cool and it looks realistic. I'll come over here to the same thing. <laughs> Adding some highlights and shadows. Highlights and shadows. Shadows and highlights. Okay, so right now we don't know how far away that is. So what I'm gonna do, is add something up here, come up here, I'll do like a little tiny ass tree kind of thing. Maybe like a little dead tree. Hmm, so now, if I add a tree to it, then all of a sudden we know like how big this thing is. Ooh, now I have like roots sticking out over the cliff. What? I'll do a smaller one off the distance. For contrast, I'll even add some little shrubbery. For shrubs, blending some first. I'll do a bigger shrub here to show that this is closer. Using like a scumbling technique. So those little dark things up there really help contrast for that thing. And powder graphite, scumble, <coughs> and two symmetrical. I'll add some other little things here. Ooh, I'll do like a little uh, taller tree. Okay, and I can add some like more details here, little small branches and whatnot. Okay, Andy, if that makes sense to you, give me an amen. 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 Do you have any more questions?